Hi there, Doug Stewin with IT Creations with another service led for the Dell EMC MX7000 chassis. You know the one, that's replacing the M1000 enclosure. Dell says it's not really a replacement for that chassis, but then later on they notice they do. Well, all that is neither here nor there because today we're looking at another server node for the MX7000, the Dell EMC PowerEdge MX840C. Let's take a look. We did the single width form factor Dell MX740C a few weeks back, and you can see that here. In that video, it was hard to escape the fact that it was housed in an enclosure. Is this a blade server? Yes, it is. And so far, there are only three modules for this chassis. The MX740C, a dual socket server sled, an MX5016S storage sled for direct attached storage with 16 2.5 inch HDDs or SSDs that can be shared across server sleds, and then our Dell EMC PowerEdge MX840C compute sled, which has a double wide form factor and up to four Intel Xeon scalable processors. This modular system is a great fit for software defined storage, database, and dense virtualized workloads. So far, there's no AMD processor or GPU supported, but those are definitely in the works. The key takeaway here is flexibility, and Dell built this system to not only support today's technology, but future developments, including the next three generations of processors. First, a little about the MX7000 chassis. It's a 7U chassis height. On the front of the system, the basic configuration has six 3000 watt PSUs at the bottom, plus four large fans vertically aligned down the center of the chassis. The server or storage sleds are also stacked vertically with room for four single width nodes or two double width nodes to either side of the hot swappable cooling fans. You can place up to eight single wide server sleds or up to four double wide sleds or a combination of the two. You could even go all storage sled on this system, but you will need at least one of those compute modules and it must be mapped to the storage. You want one of these, don't you? Well, if you do, then for a limited time, you can save up to $500 off a Dell EMC PowerEdge MX840C server sled or that MX7000 chassis listed on our site at $5,000 or more. All you have to do is mention this informative and well-produced video. That's right, you could be the cool kid on the block with all the latest technology. Just remember to share your toys. The far left-hand server ear has a control panel and there are actually three options for that. One has an LED panel option that includes a few telltale LEDs including system health, temperature, IO health, fan health, whether the system is part of a stack or group, a general status bar for at-a-glance health status, and a system ID button. The other two have a liquid crystal display, and one has optional quick sync for at-chassis management of the system using a tablet or smartphone. The other doesn't. Keep in mind that if you want quick sync, you will have to order that at time of purchase. Quick sync is not a field upgrade. Why? I don't know, but sometimes you just have to deal with that. The right side has a control panel too. This one is a little simpler and offers a power on button, two USB 2.0 ports, and a mini display port, plus a management port squeezed in between. On the back of the MX7000 chassis, you'll notice everything is horizontally arranged, and that's so that those mezzanine cards on the back of the server and storage sleds can connect with fabrics A, B, and C. Working our way down from the top, there are two slots for fabric A IO modules, followed by a row of five large fans. Below those are two IO module slots for Fabric B, and below those two are the Fabric C modules for storage. Then two slots for management modules, plus some power inlet connections for those massive PSUs, which include LEDs for at-a-glance health status. The MX7000 chassis has no backplane, so the server and storage nodes connect directly to the IO fabric modules on the back of the chassis through the mezzanine cards on the server and storage sleds. This is an upgrade as it removes the mid-plane connection to the server and storage sled so only the I.O. module on the chassis and perhaps the mezzanine cards in the blades need to be switched out to accommodate updated or newer technologies. While the MX7000 chassis supports up to four fabric modules, you can definitely get away with just one of each fabric A and B because the other two are for redundancy. The third fabric C module, and there are two of those, connects the compute modules to the direct attached storage, aka the MX. 5016 storage module, but also to the compute modules through mezzanine cards. Utilizing the MX5016S storage module requires the MX5000S IO module for Fabric C, but if you plan on connecting to that storage module from one of your compute blades, you will need to install a mezzanine card to access Fabric C, either the Perk HBA 330 MMZ or the MX7045P. Let's move on to the blade. If the Dell EMC PowerEdge MX840C was an actual blade, it would cut deeply. A little Forge and Fire reference if you've been sucked into that series like I have. Next question, why do some of those people wear kilts? Eight storage bays on the front of the system can be virtualized with those in the MX5016S storage module. 
There's also a power on button and USB port on the top right next to the iDRAC port for at chassis management. Below the on button, a system status LED, solid blue is good, and then a blue button for the release latch to slide the server sled from the chassis. The MX840C is like two of those MX740Cs stacked on top of each other with two processors and associated memory modules on the top and on the bottom. There is what can only be described as another latch which secures the top system board or processor expansion module, PEM, to the system board below through up to four UPI connectors on the lower system board. Once removed, you can see the lower set of CPUs and associated memory modules. You can install two or four of Intel's second generation Xeon scalable processors in this baby, which will support up to 28 cores each for up to 112 cores and 224 threads with all processors installed. Of course, the new Intel Xeon scalable Ice Lake processors will support up to 40 cores each and PCI 4.0, but let's not go there yet. Dell isn't either. If you only go with two processors, you will not have access to about half the performance from the memory and PCI lanes, not to mention half the compute, but that was kind of a given. Each processor supports 12 memory module slots for a total of 48 active memory module slots with all four processors installed. With six memory channels per processor, you can load two memory modules per memory channel, but for best performance, you would install only a single module in each memory channel. Supported memory includes registered and load reduced, plus NVDIMM N in 12 slots and up to 24 slots can be filled with data-centric persistent memory modules, also known as Intel Optane at least until other manufacturers start knocking out DC PMMs. Using standard registered DIMMs, the spec sheet lists a maximum capacity of three terabytes or six terabytes using load reduced memory modules. If you need a bit more resiliency, then you can install up to 192 gigabytes of non-volatile DIMMs. Non-volatile DIMMs do require battery in the event of a power failure, so that data being processed in your memory modules is safely stored if there is a power failure. DCP MMs will definitely provide the highest capacity and lowest latency at up to 15.36 terabytes and do not require a battery. Only 12.2 terabytes is actually supplied by the DCP MMs or PMMs, while the other memory portion is supplied by registered or load reduced DIMM modules, which work in conjunction with the DCP MMs. There are a lot of acronyms, and these are not to be confused with the ROUSs or rodents of unusually large size, which inhabit the dreaded fire swamp. Firstly. What about the ROUSs? Rodents of unusual size? I don't think they exist. The two management modules, or MMs, on the back of the chassis work with the OpenManage Enterprise Modular application to manage the system. It basically keeps track of your SaaS storage subsystem, health status, inventory, event logs, plus drive and enclosure assignments. Think of OpenManage Enterprise as the overlord or king of the servers, which feature Dell's integrated Dell Remote Access controllers with Lifecycle Controller as the knights or vassals in a feudal pyramid. I do hope that means we're not the peasants. Huh. Anyways, at the back of the MX840 compute sled are four PCI 3.0 by 16 slots for the IO mezzanine cards, which will connect to the IO fabrics A and B. Each of the mezzanine cards has two connectors and you can install two mezzanine cards for each of the fabric connectors A and B. There are also PCI 3.0 by 16 mini mezzanine cards for storage fabric C on both the PEM board and on the system board below. The system board has a few more dedicated PCI slots, one for an iDRAC card, plus another for either a boot optimized storage subsystem or BOSS, or an internal dual SD module, also known as the IDSDM, for support of a hypervisor. The BOSS has two M.2 storage devices for redundancy, and the IDSDM has two SD card slots on one side that can be used in mirror mode for redundancy, and another flash card on the back for use by iDRAC. Lastly, there's a dedicated slot for a PowerEdge RAID controller or PERC card if you plan on installing SAS drives or just want more control over your storage. You also have the option of using an internal USB key that's located towards the back of the chassis near the mezzanine card slots as a boot device, security key, or for general storage. And this is only the beginning for the MX7000 platform. And now I'm wondering if I should add an E onto the end of that. Uh, anyways, Dell has plans for not only compute sleds with AMD processors, but also GPUs and FPGAs. So if you're in the market for a high density system capable of supporting the same performance in 7U as a bunch of individual servers might be capable of reproducing in 8U, and that doesn't even take into account the IO modules, which would take up even more space. So there you have it, Dell's latest blade server, the Dell EMC PowerEdge MX840C. If you have any questions on this server, the chassis, or anything else for that matter, you know, server related, then post the question in the comment section below and hit that subscribe button for more of the latest in IT technology. Until our next review, I'm Doug Steumann with IT Creations, and thanks for watching.